44 works of art done over a five-year period. That's what this young artist is serving his audience at the Terra Culture Gallery in Lagos, where he shows that impossibility is a myth. An inspiration, a remarkably creative mind. The words on the lips of visitors as they take in these images at the Terra Culture Gallery in Lagos by this young artist. His art career started blossoming at the age of five. Art five years to that, and he is presenting his recent body of works in this solo exhibition. <laughs> The is impossibility is a myth. As you know, Kanye was born in the month of November. He's a creative genius, and Kanye is just nine years, and he's autistic. And when you say autistic, you don't fully know the meaning. So when we say impossibility is a myth, means there's nothing that is impossible. So if an autistic nine-year-old, nine going to ten years old child, will be able to create this array of, 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 of wonderful works of creation, then it is this possibility for everybody to, to, to excel. Impossibility is a myth is an exhibition of 44 works of art done by this special child living with autism. He has already made it to the history books. His pieces grace many international spaces. Most Severely autistic children are either confined to a certain place, stay in one place, you know, that kind of thing. They don't really do much. So when Kanye started painting and when Kanye started to become famous, uh, it, it seemed kind of impossible to us because we have already been, we've, we've, we've told ourselves that listen, let's just care for our son as much as we can try to make him uh, uh, have the best in life as much as we can. Um, this would be a responsibility which we might have to carry for the rest of our lives. These are the things that we talked about. But all of a sudden, Kanye is on his own, doing things, going places, being invited for exhibitions. His works are all over the world right now. It seems impossible. So we now organize this event to bring people here for them to understand that impossibility is a myth that you say something, it, it cannot happen, it, it, it's, it's, it's a myth. All you need is determination, focus. You need prayer. It will happen. Pushback, Africa rising, Mother Nature, fertility, dewdrops, all done with acrylic and canvas are just a few of the abstract images by this 10-year-old Kanye Yachuku Tagbo Okeke. see the creativity, the, the, the abstract nature that he has used to define the face and then the depiction of the face, the way it's been delivered shows an excelled lady who has excelled in every aspect of life and that's why it's called First Lady. One of the works that we have out there also is called Mother Earth. Mother Earth is an admixture of colors of yellow, green, blue, green showing vegetation, blue showing peace and yellow showing light and effervescent. Kanye has a way of delivering colors in an abstract manner to create works that are phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> 
where you see that a boy who has a, a restriction or a restricted ability in one field has excelled in another field and that is as an artist. So he is not a burden on the society, he is contributing to our society and he's, he's expressing himself through his paintings which is very, very uh, credible and therefore it proves that impossibility is a myth. Most of his works are abstract works and there's a few of them are semi-abstract. When you look at some of the works you could depict, you could see, show the age. For example, one of his paintings called Faceless, the, uh, the, yes, the Bride, could tell you his age. And some of the paintings shows that beneath the genuity, beneath the creativity, is still a young, growing child. His parents also encourage other caregivers not to shy away from any child who's got talent, no matter the condition. The message I'm sending out is twofold. Number one, please get to know Kanye. Kanye is an international artist and he's a, for me, I call him a superstar. That's what we, we say to each other. He's a my superstar. But number two, I want to say to, the, to, to, to people all over the world, people in Nigeria and all over the world, you need to understand children and understand the conditions which most children are faced with. Uh, most of them might not be able to tell you uh, and you would never ever get to know until you begin to read and you begin to do research. Autism is not a tragedy. Ignorance is the tragedy. If you do not know about autism, you would see a child who is autistic and you might classify the child as mentally retarded. They are not mentally retarded, they are special needs children. His art is colorful deep for his age and the dark world of autism but he has braved the odds to stun the world and help others like him with the proceeds from this exhibition this is my grandson and uh, he had uh, a challenge of autism, but God has a way of uh, compensating defects in life. And this is one example of how God works in a mysterious way. Uh, when I look at some of his paintings, I really feel thankful to God. As a child, who otherwise would have been a burden, has become an icon to the admiration of the whole world, you know? Yes, I'm very excited about his uh, uh, achievements. At, at, as young as he is, just nine years now and today, and uh, he has done so much. Art House experience doesn't have to end when the show's not on television. Interact with us on any of our social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on Channels TV's YouTube page. Send your works of art to Art House on Channels Television by joining the group on Facebook. We are everywhere. Next week, we'll take a trip outside Lagos to Edo and Enugu State to see the works of art being showcased. And remember, the conversation continues online. Let's know the new things you'd like to see on Art House as we count down to 2020. Wow, how time flies. I'm Melinda Akinlami wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.